When somebody is eligible to get a vaccine, he or she typically needs to schedule an appointment online. In many countries across the globe, we're seeing that this is a challenging task. It can often take hours across multiple days to actually succeed in getting a vaccine appointment. It's a terrible end user experience. So let's take a look at why and how we can improve this. Let's suppose we know our vaccination supply four days in advance. So by Thursday evening, nine o'clock, we know how many people we can invite for a shot on Monday. And by Friday evening, nine o'clock, we know how many we can invite on Tuesday. So one way to fill up these slots is to have people pick their own appointments with on which date and which time suits best for them. And you might think this is a user-friendly approach, but let's take a look at what actually happens. When people want to actually get us, uh, make an appointment, they come to the website and that well, the website of course says that no slots are available currently if they come on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, and they need to come back on Thursday evening. And of course they all come back on Thursday evening. Now the pro and at that point, there are about 20 people for every vaccination slot. So everybody needs to hit the refresh button a number of times on their browser until at least until 5% of them get an appointment. And then all the others, 95% of them don't. They walk away empty handed. And, they can, and those 95% can come back the next day and can do another virtual fight to get a new, uh, the, the few spots that are available right now. Uh, what's the other approach? In the other approach, uh, we do when they come to the website, we'll say, okay, we register you. We, we ask for your availability on the next uh, few weeks. And uh, based upon that, as soon as vaccination slots open, we actually calculate the, we do a calculation and we assign the people uh, from that pool to those slots based upon their availability, based upon their distance to the vaccination center, so everybody can go to their nearest vaccination center. And of course, we prioritize people based on their uh, priority group and of course their age. If you want more, learn more about the second approach, take a look at my previous video and the optoplanner.org website.